Yes, I heard you. Now shut up, please. Indeed. What? Uh, I mean, hello. Hi. Adoy, don't say his name. I realize you didn't say his name. I said it. I wish I hadn't said it. And you definitely shouldn't say it. Be quiet. I'm trying to talk to my friend here. Where was I? All right, Adoy. He's been haunting me. Can you be haunted by someone who isn't dead? Yes, we're talking about you, and you aren't making it easy, so just be quiet. Be quiet. You can't hear him, can you? I'm trying to get the ingredients for a... Hey, I'm trying to talk here for a potion that'll shut him the hells up. Let's see. Dead water from beneath Borskir Bridge. Got that already. The leg of a seven-legged spider. Ho oh, ho, mighty Vorghild might know where you can find such a spider. It's not far from here. Honestly, that is so, so great. I also need a feather from a planetar's wing, some belladonna, a potion of perception, and the juice of one turnip. And you're just going to hand it over to the elf, aren't you? You make me sad. I'm a half-elf lady, and I've got more than enough grating voices in my head right now, so I'll thank you for not adding yours to the din. You'll give me the potion? I hope this isn't too forward, but I think I may be in love with you. <laughs> really? All right, I'm with you. Yeah? <laughs> Yes, if you insist. Eight, eight, one, two, three, four times two makes eight. Darn it! It shouldn't be this hard to find a seven-legged spider. What? It is a seven-legged spider you are seeking? You know where I can find a seven-legged spider? Yeah with a horde of eight-legged ones. I came across just such a spider journeying back from the Forest of Worms. It's not far from here. Perhaps you let old Volkhilm take you where you want to go, eh? All? All right, Volkhilm can do that. And when we get the spider, the elf lass can thank Volkhilm personally, yeah? I'm a half-elf. Half-elf, but all woman. Just the way Volkhilm likes him. Gather your party before venturing forth. If you insist. Yeah, yeah, this is the place. The elf, the half elf last, the seven legged spider is here. Don't like this place, all the moaning. Yeah. Are those. They are. Spiders! <laughs> It's got seven legs. That's the I one. To live. Kill it. Kill it. Uh, I want to live. I need one of the seven-legged spider's legs. Just one. That's all I want. Yeah, yeah, this will be perfect. Thank you so much. At this rate, I won't be driven completely mad before I get rid of... I mean, before I free Adoy. <laughs> What is this? Um, we meet again, Vishand. Odesseron. I haven't seen you since Dragonspear when you required convincing to join the crusade. Good to see you had the saints to stay with us.
and here is your feather. Now, assuming there is nothing else I can do for you, be on your way. My work requires concentration. You heard about that, did you? Yes, it was an enchantment of my design. Quite effective. The forts will fall in days, if not hours. Kalar should be well pleased with my efforts. I suppose it will do no harm to share my brilliance with another. Take a look at this scroll, but be sure to bring it back promptly. Good day to you. Yes! One step closer to getting rid of a certain someone. You know who I'm talking about, Adoy. Light, easy to carry, critical element of the potion that'll get this demented loon out of my head. <laughs> very, very useful. <laughs> yes, if you insist. He was right there, that backstabbing, betraying charlatan. I could have had my revenge. Much as it pains me, I see the logic in your words. His day will come. Oh, yes. And soon. All right, all right. So, long time no see. Well, I guess it hasn't been that long, like a few seconds, really. But, um, how are you? All things? That's a lot of things to consider. Could we just consider most things or the good things? You just seem... different. I guess it would. Luckily, I only do have to guess. I don't know how I'd feel walking a mile in your boots. I'd probably spend it running the exact opposite direction you are. You aren't your father. You're nothing like him. Look at all the good you've done. You did what you had to do. You always have. You carry whatever weight the world puts on you, always. I wish I could say the same. Speaking of weight, this conversation's a little too heavy for me, but if you do need to talk, I'm here, all right? Anytime. We're few, but fierce. You! You there! You look moneyed and in dire need of Wilhelmina's miracle turnip juice. Be quiet! I actually need some turnip juice. It's part of the potion that will keep Adoy quiet. I'll take one! One turnip juice, please. One turnip juice! Don't forget to tell your friends! Good morning, everyone! What a wonderful day it is! Yeah? Indeed! Hey! Found anything else on my list yet? Getting pretty sick of a doy running around in my head. Anything else on the list? <laughs> All right, that's everything I need. Let's do this. <laughs> Any time is convenient for you, of course, but uh, sooner. Sooner is better. Right now would be best. 
But anytime you're ready, I can brew this godforsaken potion and finally silence this godforsaken mage in my godforsaken head. <laughs> yes, I heard that. Deep breaths, Nira. Okay, <laughs> whenever you're good, I'm good. Good, I'm good. <laughs> <sighs> the siren of sleep sings to me. I'm so very, very ready for this to be over already. Go to sleep. This is going to take a while. It is done! <laughs> it is done! Dramatic, huh? All right, here goes nothing. Yes, yes, yes! Silence! Blissful, glorious silence! Oh, I never thought I'd hear it again. Or not hear it again. Can you hear silence? Adoy's still there. I can feel him. But I can live with that. I think I could even... I totally could. But should I? Sheesh, witchy britches, calm down! The potion helped me focus. At least I think that's what it did. I can control our link anyway. That's the important bit. I can kind of make him louder or quieter, if that makes sense. I think I could sever the connection completely if I wanted. Just cut him off. I'm just not so sure I should. He's trapped somewhere. I think he's in trouble. If I cut him off, what'll happen to him? After everything he's put me through, I almost want him to suffer, but he's still a wild mage. I can't just leave him, can I? All right, I'm gonna talk to him. Hey, at least you don't have to listen to the guy. Give me a sec, this won't take long. I don't care if it's embarrassing. Just tell me where you are. Oh, you have got to be kidding. How in the hells did you manage that? Yes, I know you're not in one of the hells. It was... Just listen a sec. Stop flapping your insubstantial ghost lips, please. Oh, that does it. This talk is over. I can do that now. Bye. Fugue plane. Ugh. Okay, it sounds like he's trapped in the fugue plane. Yeah, how he got there, I don't know. My magic's done some pretty crazy things in the past. I guess it's not totally out of the question. He says there's some kind of mountain nearby that can help him out. I think he said mountain. He was, uh, agitated. Anyway, if I can find this mountain of Nepenthe, I can bring him back to the material plane. I get it. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, oh, shut up. I swear, he's driving me insane. Keep talking. I'll find you, and when I do, you are going to regret the day you were born. Sorry, you know it's not you. No, when I hear your voice, it makes me feel better. Really? My voice makes you feel good? And then your wonderful voice says something like that, and my murderous impulses return. I don't want that, necessarily. I just want you to tell me... Tell me things are going to be all right. I like the sound of that. I really hope you're right. Yes, that should work. Worth a try, anyway. <laughs> hey, I need help. What look? I don't know what you're... I swear to God, I'm trying to have a moment. Shut up! Talking about... <laughs> look, I'll be honest. I need a distraction. Something. Anything. Desperately. I used to play ball ball. You start with two balls. Everyone stands in a circle. Then you throw the first... Actually, never mind. Ball ball was terrible. I always lost ball ball. But I can't lose some things, can I, Adoy? Just talk to me. That's all I ask. Just give me something to listen to other than God's adoy. Shut the hells up or I will kill you in a strictly metaphorical sense. Him. Oh, you're actually willing to do it. I didn't think you would. 
hadn't thought that far ahead. Kalard's Crusade, hey? What's with that? That's what I like about you. You always have a kind word, even for your enemies. Her conviction is really something. Yep, <laughs> she's got a whole lot of conviction. Okay, this isn't working. Hmm. Not enough. Nothing makes him go away. Nothing. Oh. Oh, gods, no. He enjoyed that. He enjoyed it. Oh, not okay, Adoy. Thanks for trying. Maybe when this is all over, like, you and I seem to work well together. We do. Just not when I've got a third wheel turning around and around and around in my brain. Someday, maybe, we can be really alone. Alone. That would be... That would be great. Ah! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Sorry, sorry. You're right. It's a doy irritating me again. The closer we get to the fugue plane, the louder he gets. Maybe not silence so much as quieted down. Usually he sounds like a... A uh, babbling brook, or something not incredibly irritating. We need to get him out of the fugue plane. That's the only way to stop his yammering. Keep an eye out for a mountain. Right away. This is it. This is the portal to the fugue plane. That's not a ma Oh, it's a fountain. <laughs> that makes more sense. Not a lot more sense, but a bit. Adoy! But you're, you're, uh, I don't know how to say this, but you're, well, a spirit. You're a little bit dead. Actually, more than a little. Completely would be more accurate. Ah, uh, yes. Now that you mention it, I do seem to remember dying. Bloody inconvenient. Couldn't have happened at a worse time. So no matter what we did, we couldn't save you. And you knew. You spent weeks driving me insane for no reason at all? Really, Nira, you need to work on this anger of yours. It's very unbecoming. Your face is unbecoming! Now, now, there's no need for that. Oh, completely unnecessary. There was something I wanted to tell you. Death does make the memory a little fuzzy. Ah, yes. How I died, I was tortured to death by red wizards. What? It was a little confusing at first, but I did glean some information whilst various internal organs were being ripped from my, uh, body. Most intriguing. Describe the operation in as much detail as you can recall. The Red Wizard's mind is the mightiest of fortresses. Its walls must be strong to contain the limitless power we wield. Now, Ghost, tell me of your death. Spare none of the details, especially the gory ones. I think I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> be careful, Nera. Watch out for yourself and other wild mages. The Order of Eight Staves is coming. It happened after I last saw Nira. I teleported from my cave, and... Uh, it's a little foggy after that. Might have had something to do with the fog spell. In any event, my attacker's numbers and skill overwhelmed me. The Order of Eight Staves, they called themselves. I think. I was mildly eviscerated at the time, which does rather tend to distract. Well, there's little I can tell you. But be wary. Ever vigilant. If you are attacked, 
Strike back instantly and without mercy. Or flee. Whichever you think is best, you'll figure it out. Sounds like I'm gonna have to. Thank you, Nira. Spending eternity in this place will be far less painful than where I was. There's no leaving here for me now. I'm bound to this place. You'll not see me again. Be safe, little wild one. Remember what I've told you. Do what you can to protect the others. I will. Well, that was... I don't know what that was. Sacrificed for the advancement of Thayan magic. A painful death, perhaps, but suffered for the most worthy of causes. But if Adoy is right, if the Red Wizards are really coming, I'd better get prepared. I beg to differ, but there will be a better time for this argument. You saved me in Bridgefort. You helped me with Adoy. I'm not leaving you until Kalar's dealt with. You know something? I like you. It's stuff like what you just said that makes me really glad that you're around. I know I haven't been easy to get along with recently, or, you know, remain sane in the proximity of. <laughs> totally. You have no idea what it's like having someone interrupt you constantly. The man never shuts up. You stuck with me, though, so thanks. You're the best. I don't know how many wild mages you know, so that might not be much of a compliment. <laughs> Still, I'm glad to hear it. We're never going to be safe again, are we? Safe might be boring, but on the upside, it is safe. I always thought that one day, one shining, beautiful day, I could go 15 minutes without having to worry about being killed. It's stupid, I know. Yeah, but me being who I am, the world being as it is, there's always going to be something dangerous and scary and murder-y around. And it's not going to stop me. Not anymore. Not ever again. Let's do this. I never thought I'd be so happy to see a normal, non-lava-spewing basement. Not that I had any doubts we'd see a normal, non-lava-spewing basement again, mind you. We are good. Almost too good. Passable, huh? How about I make you passably pink? Actually, never mind. I don't think the crowd would appreciate you being pink as much as I would. I bet it does. I think you'd look very fetching in pink undergarments, and even better without them. Come here, you. Hmm... I like you. I think I like you a lot. You bet your pretty little butt. When this is over, when everything here is done, maybe the two of us could go somewhere, you know? A little quieter, more private. Gods, could you be more adorable? <laughs>